Today, we're going to be talking about um, the card catalog. So if you go to your um, classroom, and mine's just this test class thing, if you go into your classroom, you will see you have a link right here. And it says card catalog link up in the materials. So if you click on this, you'll see that there's a link to the card catalog, but there's also a Google Doc. So this Google Doc will tell you the username and the password to get into the card catalog. You only have to type it once into to your computer and then it remembers. So it's Monticello space MS, and then you just leave the password blank. We're gonna go ahead and go into the link and it's gonna take me right here. So this is what the card catalog looks like. You'll notice that I have um, a place where I can search. So I can search all words, I can search the title, I can search um, by author, or I can search by subject. So if I search all words and I go dogs and I hit search, this number right here will tell me that there are 142 books with the dogs somewhere in it either in the subject or in the title or sometimes even the author. So that will tell me how many books there are. This says there's one to 10, so it breaks it up into tens. And then it tells me that my total is 142. This right here is the title of the book. So one, two, three, draw cartoon animals is the title of the book. This is the author. And then this right here is the call number. So this one is actually a nonfiction book because nonfiction books have numbers. Fiction books will say FIC in front of them. So right here. So this one is a fiction book. So it says FIC HUN, and then it tells me it's in the animal section. So remember that our card catalog is divided into what we call genres. So it will tell you where you need to go. All right. It also tells me over here that we have one book and that there's one available in our, should be available on our shelf. So that's an all word search. What happens if I want to do um, like the title? So this would only bring up books that have the word dogs in the title. So I click on title and then I actually have to tell it to go search again because the computer is not as smart as we are and it doesn't know that I want to change. So I tell it to go search again. Now notice my number here has changed. So instead of 142 or 147, I have just 27 with dogs in the title. And most of these will be fiction books. So once again, here's the title of the book, here's the author, and here is my call number. And then down below it'll tell you a little bit about what the book's about. Now I can also do a subject search. So this is if I want all the books that have dogs as a subject. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit search again. And this bumped that number up to 130. So if it has subject of a dog, it is going to be in there. So it's gonna take away all the books that necessarily um, so like a dangerous path actually has dogs in it, but it doesn't have dogs as a title. So it, or dogs as an author, it's just got dogs somewhere in the subject area, which you guys don't see because it's back behind. Okay. So that is how you work through the card catalog. You can also search by author. I'm not going to have any subject or any books by an author of dogs, but if I type in the color green, so it's going to bring up all sorts of authors. So here's Mitchell Green. Here's Tim Green, who's a great um, sports author. Here's Green Smith. So it's going to grab some things that are just plain old green and some that are green like Green Smith. Okay. All right. So that is the card catalog. Now your job for today is under the online learning day, you will see that it says card catalog. You're going to click on that. We're going to go ahead and go to view assignment and we're going to go ahead and open it up. This has a lot of stuff that you're going to manipulate. So you're going to move some stuff around. So this very first one, it says sort the call numbers into fiction and nonfiction. So you need to decide 
is this a fiction or a nonfiction book? And when you click on these numbers or letters, you get a little blue box. So you're going to take your little blue box and you're going to move it wherever you think it needs to go and let go of it. So you're going to sort all of these and tell me if they're fiction or nonfiction. On the next slide over here, it says highlight the title in yellow and highlight the call number in green. So you're going to look at this. This is actually taken from our card catalog. You're going to look at it and decide where's the title and where's the call number. So there's a couple of those you got to do. Same thing. And then this one is asking you, is this book fiction or nonfiction? So you're going to type your answer in this box over here. Same thing with this one. This book is going to ask you how many books does the library have about wolves. This one is what's the difference between a subject search and a title search. So if I'm searching in my card catalog, what's the difference between a subject search and a title search? And then this asks you when would you use a title search and when would you use an author search? So you're going to tell me when you would use those things. Now remember, when you're done with this, you're going to go back to your Google Classroom. So you're going to go back to the Google Classroom and you will hit turn in. All right, so don't forget to turn it in. All right, so that is what you are doing today for your online learning activity for library skills. And I will see you guys um, next week. All right.